Toastmasters. What is a conversation? It's a scary thing. It's an interaction between two people where you're trying to develop a relationship between each other. We've all had those situations where we try to have a conversation with a stranger. Sometimes it turns out great, and you really form a connection between you two. And sometimes it's an awkward mess that you'd rather run away from. There's a balance as to how you form a, convers uh, a conversation. There are tricks, there are tips, and there's things that you need to know. First off, a conversation has four levels. The first level of a conversation is a small. Hi, how are you? Peculiar weather ever happened. The little things that you throw in just to try and start a conversation. It's the initial feeders between you two. Hopefully, if you can get past the small talk, you get to level two of a conversation. Level two is where you start sharing factual information between each other. It's where you start learning a little bit about the person, and that's where the listening skills that you develop really come into play. You see, a conversation is no fun if it's only about you. And it will die quickly. You need to learn about the other person. You need to ask about their interests. The level two portion of the conversation is the intel gap. Because if you don't ask open-ended questions during the level two period, you're not going to get the facts that you need about the other person. And you're not going to know how to move forward with the conversation. If you start asking closed questions, yes or no questions, how many times have we had a situation where you have a conversation, you ask yes or no questions, and then the conversation just dies because you don't know how to move forward? That's the importance of an open-ended question during the factual part of the conversation. Because then they start giving you information that you didn't know about. And they, and they start going deeper and deeper. And as you listen, you know how to proceed forward. And that's when we get to level three of a conversation, where you start sharing opinions and view. This is where you really learn about a person. Because when they share facts, about, uh, you can always learn facts. You can go online. You can read if you want research the person beforehand. But finding the opinions and viewpoints of a person, that's a little bit more guarded. You don't, you don't really get to it until you develop that connection between each other. You don't get to learn the inner working of their mind. So let's face it. The opinions and viewpoint of an individual can make or break a relationship between you two. can decide whether you want to be a person's friend. can decide whether you want to be in the same job together in terms of interview and interview. That's why they always tell you don't share personal opinions and viewpoints. It's the foundations. Because people want to be with people that have the same opinions and views. So that's why level three is so important. But there's a level above. Level four of conversation is personal information. That's when you really start learning about a person's life. When they start divulging information that no one else would know unless they were told by this very person. It is also a potential conversation killer. So it's a level that you need to get to slowly and wisely. You've all encountered the person that you are in level one, you're having your small talk, and out of nowhere, they shoot to level four and start telling you about all the woes in your life, all the divorces, the drug abuse, and, or whatnot, and you and you step back like, whoa, what just happened? I just said hi to you, and, and, and I'm now your therapist. I, I don't want this, I don't need this. We know of those people. That's how you kill a conversation you need. Level four, realistically speaking, should not be reached until you've had a, com a couple conversations with individuals. If you just rush to level four, the person's going to be, uh, be feeling uncomfortable. But if you reach level four in a 
nice organic manner, and sometimes you will reach it within one conversation, that's when you know you've really connected with an individual. Because they have enough trust in you to share this information, and they're comfortable with it, and it's not an uncomfortable situation for either member. That's when you really learn about a person's struggles and what shaped their opinions and viewpoints. Because there's always a reason why a person thinks a certain way. Once you understand the reason, you get a further understanding of the individual. What are conversations if not just to understand the person in front of us? So remember, as you're talking to a person, always think about the different levels as you climb up. And always remember, you have to listen and have open-ended questions. But what's all this talk of theory? Yes, you can talk about theory all night. But you don't really learn until you start applying theory. As such, as part of my speech, which is meant to teach about communication, I'm actually going to have a demonstration. I'm actually going to capture a volunteer, she doesn't know about this, but beforehand, perfect. And you're going to see an organic conversation develop. Angelica, if you can come down to the stage. So we're going to have our interaction, our conversation. We're going to see how it develops. We have not rehearsed, we have not practiced. So let's see if applying the skills actually turns into a great conversation or if I fall to the floor and bust. Now we're going to talk about how the conversation went. So good evening. Good evening. All right, so I see you come here to Florida International University. Yes. How long have you been coming here? I've been coming here actually for the past two years. I'm a transfer student from my Miami Dade. Ah, so what are you studying right now? I'm actually finishing up my bachelor's in marketing. Uh, so pardon? I'm soon to graduate in uh, Miami. Oh, that's great. That's great. Uh, what brought you into the world of marketing? That's actually really interesting because I was doing nursing prior to going into the business school. And um, I had the opportunity to participate in events such as um, I did like a pageant and that led me to doing sales jobs and going into the business industry and I felt like it fit my personality better than acting as a nurse because although I'm very nurturing
that, that's that's the goal that you found. That's the problem you wanted to fix while you were in here prior uh, to be able to study with medical. Have you found any new goal that you want to fix or improve now that you're in the marketing world? Have you found something that it, it can be done a little bit better moving forward? Tips, 
always has open-ended. Think about the four levels of a conversation you want to go to. Um, small talk, factual, opinions, and personal information. Think about that and progress through it. Don't rush through them. Slowly build upon it, and you'll have a successful conversation. So I implore you, go out there, try out these skills, and I wish you the best of luck in your future conversations. Mr. Toastmaster.